Welcome back everybody to TXP4. We've now moved into the top four. We got St. Clair College Gold going up against the Lisk Lords. If the Lisk Lords reverse sweep their way into this position. Now, my name is Seymour. With me is Theo. And Theo, this is a big match because winner of this goes into the lower finals to play for that $500 match of third place or yeah. push into that second place spot. Yeah, do or die for both teams. They've both made it so far. Lisk flying after a reverse sweep on a new high, but St. Clair College Gold definitely wants to make it to that top three position. It's going to be a good start for the Saints on this map. They get the initial hard point, but Lisk do a relatively good job of getting some time back. They should be able to get the scraps here with that challenge there, but there's a nice trade from Gorilla. Brandon going to find one more as well, so it's going to be Saints with the lead after the first hard point. And you can see already Lisk noticing that they're cutting their losses rotating over towards p2 they have that set up and they have players watching over but as a matter of fact storms is actually going to be solo dolo inside this nacho is going to have to take a route around and you see if you can crack things open for the saints who are now looking to pinch out this hard point nacho is going to get shot in the back a couple kills come through for lisk and they're doing a great job at actually locking down this time they flip the lead and they're actually boxing saint Clair out yeah, Lisk playing with a lot of confidence here. They're going to be able to take the lead here, and they've had a lot of time on this hard point. Saints have not gotten any contest here. Finally, Bendy will slide through, finding an opening pick. Nacho going to pick up a second as it's all yellow in the gold, uh, all gold in the kill feed. It's going to be Saints taking control of the point yet again. You can see there's still a couple members from Lisk there, but a couple of Saints members on the flip side going to be fighting for the spawns for the next hard point. Yeah, I like this from both sides. They've shown initiative and their plays and Lisk going to be holding a marginal lead heading into this third hill St. Clair representing upstairs as well they have Gorilla in the back so they have good presence over towards new and they have some players looking to cut off the rest of the middle of the map you can see down low that's a big kill coming through from Bendy he's spotted by Twix but the trade fest still comes through St. Clair still hold in towards new and you are, and it is Lisk trying to find a way into break, but they're losing every single gunfight on the map, it seems. Yeah, Lisk do a great job. We're in the best position, but get the take back, Gorilla, up top. Not going to drop down. Storm's just going to get a bit more time there for Lisk. The Saints look to re-aggress here. They find three opening kills. One more member left on the site. Nacho's going to be able to find that one. Saints going to get a couple more hardpoint points here, but there is a player behind. That's Storm's. I don't think Saints have any idea that he is back there. He's going to get into the point. Going to get the capture back in the favor of Lisk because they continue to open their advantage. It's a little bit of a rogue spawn and I'm sure St. Clair are going to be a little frustrated yeah. that that's happening but down low we go and again it's Lisk trying to play a, a forward. Bendy's going to put a couple together and it's actually not showing the feed that is trying to lead this charge now into hill number four. Bendy slides in. He grabs two. Wonders Ooh. trying to stay alive but that had to be a turn and burn. Bendy with the four down now. Lisk is going to be looking to break from that P3 side of the map. It's a pinch spawn, a split one that St. Clair have to deal with. Yeah, they're going to have control of this. Bendy finding a double kill. These multi-kill for the Saints are definitely keeping them afloat so far as they look to take the lead for uh, for the first time since the first a hard point. And they're going to be able to do so. Two players just laying prone on that site. Lisk are finding the kills around the other sides of the map, but they are not contesting this hard point now. A lead of 10 and growing for the Saints, but looks like Lisk will finally be able to break through. They should be able to get the last little bit of this scrap time and put themselves back in the lead. But Bendy on a five streak. Very very close to kill streaks there. Gonna look to find that one. Not gonna find able to find anything. Lisk jump back into the lead while Saints trying to take control for the next hard point. It's good scrap time from Lisk and everybody's battling for new. Back to P1 for the second set. 84-91. And it looks like a couple of these members on St. Clair are gonna have to pick it up because you look towards Bendy and the way he's playing 15 and 8 into the second set of rotations. He's absolutely slaying out for St. Clair. We saw him back on P4. He's the one that got the opening. Now he's looking to the rest of the team to see if they can keep this one afloat against Lisk, who are red hot after their reverse sweep into this hard point. Yeah, nice shots coming out here. Nacho gonna be able to stay alive, drops down, and on the flip side, I mean Bendy 
is was on like an eight or nine spree. Finally gets eliminated. Nobody gonna be on the hard point. We're at a tie game at 97. It's a great job from both teams, keeping this one very, very competitive. And neither team able to find an edge after such a long time. Finally, Aram finds a nice pick, gets into this side, and will give Lisk a tiny, tiny advantage. But Bendy on a five, it's gonna be Nacho actually on the five spree, finding the six. That's gonna be a couple kill streaks in the back pocket of the Saints. Lisk might not realize that. Uh, it didn't really look like Nacho actually got those kill streaks. Bendy has full Bendy kill has streaks. Full. He's 17 and 9. Been absolutely tearing it up for the Saints. And he's in behind this whole play. They have no idea. Shots of the first. He kills the second one. Now looking to clean up the rest. But the help comes through from Wonders. And St. Clair still has some work to do if they want to be in control of this next hill. Fighting from the less preferred side of this one. The reinforcements have arrived for Lisk. And now that setup of numbers. The kills follow up. And Lisk are going to stamp their names into this P2. Yeah, on this P2, Lisk have done a great job second time around as well of getting the control. Saints having a hard time breaking in. There's going to be a three kills though going over to the side of the Saints. One more member left alive. It's going to be a clean sweep. They take the objective spawns aren't too good for Lisk. So Saints looking to close out this hard point with all the time. J Twig's going to find a pick. Finds a second. So actually Saints won't be able to get the scrap time as both teams need to start rotating for this next hard point. It looks like Lisk are on the upper hand here. They will have the good spawns. Well, considering how wide open Hills 1 and 2 are, it's very difficult to get time on that. And we see that this just mostly been the neutral clock that's been draining in between the last two hills. But now on Hill 3 and Hill 4, this is where both teams are going to be looking for an advantage. Lisk did a good job at fighting from the front the last time. They were able to break in for a couple of seconds in the first set of rotations. And it looks like they actually flipped the Saints out. So now with those back spawns and Lisk in control, this is where it's red alert for Saints. They got to break this one from the front. Yeah, they need to break through. And this is not a point where they can use their streak, so they need pure gunplay to take this one back. Gorilla going to... Uh, Brand actually going to be the one taking down Lisk. I mean, they're playing great on this hard point so far. They're going to keep expanding their lead on this P3, but there is a big flank coming through here. Storms, though, is going to be up top here. Nacho finds one. Nice... One more kill there for the Saints Gold Squad. JC Twix finds one, but gets it taken down as Aram finds that trade. Still a, a suicide there from Brandon. But Saints finally, in the last few seconds, able to take the hard point. But now we're going downstairs, and Lisk got first to the point. And Lisk setting up, and we've seen that... This can be a tough nut to break. St. Clair was Bendy who led the charge, and he's going to be the first to fall in this attempt. So St. Clair delayed outside. Shots on to Brandon, and that's going to be two down. Nacho looking for a way around this one, and he's got some assistance as well. Brandon's going to find the first pick there. Gorilla's going to hop on towards this time. The kill's trading back and forth, and it looks like St. Clair found their way in. So down 24 seconds. This is really important for them to look to keep a close lead, but it's still Lisk finding the kill and making this one tight. I mean, the gunplay from Lisk is superb right now. They're finding every kill needed, but it's going to be Saints. Three kills in a row here. Aram, though, going to find the double kill. Will neutralize all of the Saints' threats near this hard point. It's going to get a good amount of time here as Lisk continues to expand their lead now at 20 and counting. We're going to be going back to P1 with Lisk on top from the first two rotations, but now St. Clair for this specific point. They have some kill streaks. I would be very surprised if we don't see anything come out here. Well, it all depends on who's got control of this point for St. Clair. It's neutral. No reason to drop those Not streaks. Yet. Bendy's going to overextend. He lays down. And now this is time that St. Clair really, really needs. They have presence in both buildings, so those windows are going to be tough to cross for Lisk. Their attention has to be towards taking these players out of the power positions for St. Clair. Twix is lost, and that's going to be an easy cleanup for Nacho. Wonders finally trading it out, but St. Clair have been soaking up all of this time, and now they've cut that lead back to Ethan. So we got ourselves a tie game in the third set of rotation. Still two minutes and 20 seconds on the clock, so lots of time to play this one out. Yeah, it's going to be Lisk getting the last contest here. Bendy having the double primary gets the nice switch over to the SMG. Picks up that kill, but Lisk going to be taking the lead here on this hard point of 5 spree 4 Nacho, if he can get those streaks here, would be another good... Uh, Green spot for the Saints, but it's going to be Lisk with the lead heading into the next hard point. And this one has been Lisk's strong point every single time. They seem to be able to get the control on the objective. It is, but St. Clair still fighting against the odds. Down 13. Nacho's going to be leading it. 
He's going to find the shots around, but doesn't connect fully onto Wonders. 42 seconds. Lisk Wonders. now trying to push their lead into a situation that almost feels impossible for St. Clair to come back from. 33 seconds. That could be detrimental to this game one on protocol. But here's the push for Saints. They're going to find the first kill. They need to get in. They invest the artillery barrage. So they're just trying to get Lisk out. But Lisk still getting time off of it. They need these kills for Saints. The follow-up is good. And they've finally broken through. Yeah, they used those streaks maybe a little bit too late, but you can see there's a big flank coming out from a Twix here trying to flip the spawns for the next point. There's going to be one contest coming out in the back there. Let's see who's going to be able to win this one. It's going to be Brandon takes that one down. That's a big, big kill. But on the flip side, Saints get the bad, bad spawn. So let's see if Lisk are able to take it over. Yeah, we really need Brandon to stay alive back here. Lisk, they know it. And that's a good call from Aram isolating that player. All eyes forward for Lisk as St. Clair looking to break from the front. They got players outside. Players at the front door, and the kills to back them out. Wonders looking from the outside in. Nobody's on the point, but St. Clair finally touched down. 8-Ram in the back. Gonna have to get into the mix right now because his team has spawned out. And this point is neutral. St. Clair, they're not too far away from bringing this back to a tie game on protocol. And Lisk, they know that. They have to fight for it. And Lisk are finding all the kills needed all right in the kill feed. Nacho finds one, but does get traded out. Bendy finds one, needs to find at least one more. But it's going to be Lisk taking full control of this hard point. They can't close out the map right here. So I don't, it's going to be a rough rotate for them. But Saints, I think they're going to give up the rest of this time and play for the next hard point. Ten seconds is all Lisk will need. It's just one break at this new hill. Oh, and St. Clair should know that. That's not good for Bendy. He's going to be found out. Fortunately, the team is there to back him up. And Nacho Tuck away, putting three down. St. Clair, no room for errors. They can win it here, but it has to be a clean hill. I wouldn't be surprised if we see an artillery dropped at this doorway to kind of stop Lisk from getting anywhere in. And it's going to be a full push coming through, but St. Clair College Gold finding all of the kills. It's going to be great job from them. They can close out the map right here as Lisk push the attack. Still 33 seconds. Still plenty of time. St. Clair can win this, but Lisk just need one break. Oh they need God. the kills, and they just keep on solo pushing this one by one. Lisk, they need to pump the brakes for a second. They're not out of it just yet, but they just continue to throw away lives. Yeah, they're going one by one. Brandon finds the opening pick as it's all coming down to the wire here. Can Lisk get inside? of this point. Gorilla gonna peek with the pistol. Not gonna be able to find anything. Everyone getting to the side. Bendy finding a double kill. Four seconds and taking. It's gonna be All Saints as they find the comeback on the last hard point. Get all 60 seconds needed and they take map one. What a comeback from the Saints gold team. 250-241. Lisk only needed 10 seconds heading into that hill number four and, and that would have been curtains for Lisk to start this off uh, in, a, in a very fashionable way. Protocol is this is St. Clair's pick. They wanted to go to this map, but list they came out swinging. They gave them a test, and that test just wasn't good enough for that hill number four. Can we mention that out of every single hill, it seems like that hill is the toughest one to break. Yeah. And for Lisk, it seemed like they were a little bit ahead of themselves in that whole push every single time. It was solo hit, solo hit. And the challenges just kept on bleeding them dry in that fourth hill. And St. Clair, they're happy to set up. This is a team that's been playing together for quite a long time. They yeah. know how to play against, with each other. And they're okay with when the going gets tough bunkering down and just slaying out the way that we just saw. That is absolute composure from the Saints gold team to kick things off here in the lower semis. And that's going to be a big momentum swing in their favor. Lisk, we're riding on a high. If they could have closed out that first map, I mean, that could have kept on rolling and the Saints would have had a hard time. But the fact they're able to come back and kind of stop Lisk in their tracks is going to be a huge, huge swing. But now we're going to be going to search and destroy from such high momentum gameplay to kind of slowing the pace down. Everyone's hearts definitely beating after that finish. But both teams need, need to stay composed for the next and map. And kind of mentioned in the map picks too, that protocol hard point, that was was St. Clair's map choice. Yeah. So the fact that it was so close gives that confidence Absolutely. over towards the side of Lisk. And now we're heading to a protocol search and destroy where this is Lisk's choice. They want to go back to the protocol. Yes, St. Clair, they're not strangers to this map across the weekend. They've played it. They've clutched up in game fives on this map mode combo. But at the same time, this is a map that I'm sure Lisk is also comfortable on. So this is going to be a tough map too, for sure, for the St. Clair. And 
it, it, in the whole grand scheme of things, if you could tie things up, if a uh, Lisk here in map number two, we got a Vault Control up next, which is also Lisk's choice of map, and then a Vault Hardpoint for a map four, and a Rewind Heart a Search and Destroy for a map five. So the fact that we're kind of looking at this whole series and the fact that it's a lot of protocol and a lot of Vault means that there's going to be some similarities from map yep. to map and some comfortability, especially for a team going into that control on a high for Lisk. If they can win that, they'd be feeling good for going into that vault hard point. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, uh, Sinclair definitely cannot count Lisk out. They just pulled off a river sweep in a position where nobody thought it was possible. Exactly, so that's even, a good point. Even though they, that was a very close first map, momentum's riding high. I mean, if anyone's going to be the one to stop the Saints gold team, it's going to be Lisk because they show they can do it and they're going to definitely try to do it again. But as you said, it's going to be a tough, tough matchup against this gold team on the same map. It will be, but if anybody's going to do it right now, it's this Lisk key yeah. riding that high. Um, going into this search and destroy on protocol, one thing that we've seen tend to happen on this map, especially from kickoffs and into this tournament, is that downstairs underground, that bomb site, it is a fickle thing. I mean, that is where everybody on the attack is just looking to get that timing, get that bomb in there. We did see snipers in some of the kickoffs on this map, and it, it was a possible that the defensive sniper could get that timing with the sniper, pop a shot off, duck behind the wall. If you hit it, you hit it. If you don't, you don't. But it, it, that sniper is G8 now. They yeah. don't have that chance to bring out the boomstick anymore and search and destroy. So for anybody on defense for protocol, you have to be very aware of challenging for those initial gunfights downstairs because if you allow that bomb to go down easily for free almost in a four on four, we saw in the hard yeah, point how hard it is seconds, to break yeah. downstairs and in a search and destroy, it's not going to be any easier. Yeah, you only have one life in search and destroy, so definitely going to have to keep that downstairs on lockdown. But we're getting right into game. It's going to be Saints on the defense, and it's going to be Lisk on the attack to start off the map. Let's see which team can start off on the front foot. St. Clair, probably uh, gasping for air after that <laughs> win on the first map. So a win to kick off the search will be a sigh of relief, probably a new breath of life for them, but it is going to be a slow attack over towards B, it seems, outside for for List. They lose the initial gunfight, and Nacho might get some timing here. The bomb's going to get planted. Nacho's not going to allow that post plant to be set up in the back, so St. Clair, first and foremost, got to clear out their own building before they take Wonders out on this helipad. Brandon going to get taken down, however, so it makes it a three-on-three three situation. Now, St. Clair only have 30 seconds to work with, and they have no idea where any of the members from Liscar have done the greatest job of clearing anything out. Now, the swings are going to come through. Wonders spots out a couple, takes some shots, and a nice swing there from the side on the flank. Now, it's a 2v3 situation. Plant is still down. The defuse is coming through. Does Aram see that Brandon's on that defuse? I'm not sure. I think Saints are going to be able to sneak this one away. And did were they able to do that? They got I, they it. They did. They did get it. They take the first round with the Ninja Diffuse. A very close round, but it goes in the Saints' favor. And Lisk are really testing St. Clary. There's only so much ice you can give this team. You can't just let them diffuse like that. Yeah. After clutching up the hard point the way that they did, that is a nail-biter for sure for Saints Gold. But for Lisk uh, losing out on that round, uh, I think that St. Clair kind of feeling good. You had a good setup there for Lisk, especially with Wonders being over towards the helipad. I'm surprised that St. Clair were able to collapse three players yeah. on the helipad without anybody else giving support to Wonders. That is a huge miscalculation for that post-plant setup, and now they're going to have to find a defensive win of their own if they want to keep this one tight, and they have a lot of emphasis downstairs right now. Yeah, I mean, as you said before the map, that downstairs is going to be a big emphasis, but Nacho going to be the first one to find the opening pick here for the side of St. Clair. They haven't committed to either bombsite yet, but have gotten a good amount of space on the map. There is a player for Lisk sitting all the way back in spawn, making sure that nothing too crazy can happen. Brandon up here takes a few shots, gets a bit of information out, is wondering, is there a player behind? But it's going to go down. Gorilla is going to be the first blood for the side of the Saints as it's a 3v3 situation, but the plant is down downstairs, yeah. and now it's going to be a hard retake for Lisk. Yeah, Lisk, they took the bait of Brandon being upstairs and it allows that bomb safely to go over Wonders. Looking for an angle, the shots don't connect and luckily he stays alive, but Storms is gonna be caught. That's a good kill from Bendy and it forces the St. Clair to understand where the last two members gonna be pushing from. Bendy gets caught, two versus two. 
18 seconds left, and a flank coming out from Brandon. This could be curtains. Nacho takes the second one, and Saints Gold continue the run two rounds in a row. I mean, you spoke about how hard, hard the retake is on that downstairs bomb side, and you saw how hard it was there, especially when you're down the numbers. The flank was beautiful, and in the 2v2, St. Clair Gold are able to find the clutch. They go up two rounds to zero. Now it's going to be attack yet again for Lisk. Last time, they were able to get the bomb down, but just could not stop the defuse. This time, I'm definitely expecting them to keep Closer eyes on that bomb. You and me both. Lisk, though, something needs to go their way on this attack. As game number two, this is the where they oh, want to go. They're going to go downstairs and say they're beating this head on. It's a three on three. Saints have the numbers, and also they've backed up Lisk. Bendy, it's actually Nacho to get that first kill. It's traded onto Bendy, and these players from Lisk just trying to take what they got and get out with their lives. So, fortunately enough, they get the trade. It's a three on three, and now they're bringing the bomb over to B. Yeah, Wonders has a lot of room to work with. Could get this plant down as soon as possible, but instead's gonna choose to get the pick That's first. Call. That's a great play from Wonders. Could be a round winning play. Is able to stay alive. Surprise doesn't just run towards that bomb site, but they're gonna flip it again. They're gonna go downstairs and try and get the plant down there. Saints aren't set up for this, so if Liz can get into it quickly, get the plant down. I mean, it's gonna be a good round for them. That's gonna be another kill going down. It's gonna be Gorilla stuck in the 1v3 situation. This one might be too much to handle. Uh, Lisk are playing 40 chess. I can't even read it, and I got x ray. <laughs> it's just. Back and forth from A to B, they're rapping the rap, and I don't even think St. Clair knew what was going on in that round. You saw the the one player of the Saints tried to leave the building, go back to B, and, and see if there's a plant going on, but Wonders took the shortcut, and he catches that timing onto the player leaving out the back door, and instead of going for the plant, he doubles back over towards A again. I got no idea what that call from Lisk was, <laughs> but maybe I just can't understand the 200 IQ plays that these guys are bringing out. I mean, Lisk is playing well. They could be up two rounds to one if they just played that first round a little bit better, but now we got to focus in on this next round. Saints going to be on the attack again. They were successful getting downstairs last time. It did take a little bit of time. They had some flanks going through. Let's see how they decide to play this one. Looks like they're going to play it relatively slow. Brandon's going to be moving up mid here as they like to take the upstairs list. Going to be send a couple players down there to make sure the plant doesn't go down oh. early. And Aram going to find the first blood. That's a great start to the round for Lisk. But Nacho finds a trade. Yeah, it is, but it's a well set up nade from Gorilla, and Brandon follows it up. It lands onto the player from Lisk, and it evens things up into a three on three, as well as it forces some players off of A. So that's going to call for Lisk to double back in towards the building, up the spiral staircase, and send Wonders to hopefully watch from the back turret or even more aggressive where we see Wonders sitting with his Amos. So, Wonders in trouble. He's got three players pushing into him. Brandon or Gorilla is the one to find that kill. And now Lisk, who have their remainings over towards A, have to turn around and reach this one. Hopefully, siege the site out. Yeah, Brandon can just get some information here and stay alive. That's the key here. Just needs to stay alive and not die. Doesn't need to find the kill. Let the rest of his team do the work while soaking up pressure. Gorilla sitting behind the health pad. I mean, Saints have a beautiful setup. Three on two. He's going to take some real heroics from Lisk. And we're going to see the attempt here. But Brandon's going to find the initial kill. And that's going to be a very, very clean attacking round from the Saints. They get the plant down. They get a beautiful post-plant positioning and easily eliminate the threats. That's the teamwork I like to see from St. Clair, too. It all starts off with that first blood that, you know, Brandon went for Gorilla cooks the nade it lands to the player over to the B site you'd say hey Brandon I got a tag just fly at that one yeah. and they trade that initial first blood where Bendy wasn't able to find that success right away it's okay they take their sights elsewhere and that completely shreds through Lisk's defensive setup and as soon as you have a player like Brandon on the back of that turret as well as Gorilla inside the helipad that crossfire it is not an easy crossfire to break with the, the setup Ooh. that St. Clair had, but that Man. helps a little bit for Lisk. A set nade and a second one as well onto Bendy, so that's two early kills and the A site's already being planted. I mean, this is a great start to the round for Lisk. They've looked pretty sharp on their attacking rounds, able to get the plants down, and it's going to be another kill going down. Gorilla, yet again, stuck in the 1v3 scenario. A bit of deja vu as he's going to have a hard time getting anywhere near this site. Lisk are all set up on the site. They should play on top of one another as they have the numbers advantage. Gorilla going to look for something, for anything. But Lisk are being smart. They're not challenging anything. Yes, Brand uh, Gorilla does find an opening.
big frag, but stuck on 11 HP and not a lot of time to work with. Will throw yeah. out a nice stun there. Will he be able to find the initial pick here on the swing? No! Lisk able to take yet another attacking round with a beautiful plant again. And maybe if that nade made it into the doorway, maybe. but... It's hard to ask for that from Gorilla. One versus three, you get that first kill, and both of the other members, when they know where Gorilla is coming from, yeah. you don't have to make a play. You just wait. The time was on your side. Everything for Lisk was looking good there, and uh, they're keeping this one back and forth. So still looking for that round, Lisk, to tie this one up. Down by one round again, and they swap over towards the defense. Last time for St. Clair, they punched a hole right over towards B with that set nade from Gorilla, but still Lisk, they found that first blood in the round. So if they can do the same thing, find that first blood and stay alive, it's going to limit Saints from the methodical place that they want, but Saints are just going to bull rushing. rush it onto A. They don't want to leave anything up for grabs. I mean, it's completely free. The one time Lisk don't double commit here on of the course. downstairs I mean Saints just have them read like a book both teams playing both offensive sides so beautifully as a plant is down 40 seconds now for Lisk to make a play and find a defuse but we said time and time again there's a huge huge flank coming out there from Gorilla will be able to, or it's gonna be Gorilla finding the opening pig but two trades come back for Lisk immediately 29 seconds still a lot of time to work with is gonna be a kill found by Brandon he's gonna be able to get out alive as well 23 seconds and thinking there's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one. not sure gonna fall down and you all think this is falling apart for the Saints. It's still 17 seconds, one versus two. We've seen this team clutch up often inside College Cod, but Benji not able to get it done with the C9 in hands. Lisk, they find the kills, they break the setup, and they dismantle the Saints in what seemed like a gimme round. It was a, a tough read there for Lisk and, and Saints. They get that bomb planted early. All of a sudden, it's worried. But you, like you said, it's the flanks from Lisk that have just been kind of making the Saints vulnerable in these situations. And the fact that Lisk are able to not only find one, but two kills and Wonder gets away back upstairs, that's a huge moment for Lisk to just swing things back into their favors and kind of send St. Clair into a little bit of a mess for that round. Lisk are really pushing St. Clair to the edge. Yeah, we're tied up at three apiece as it's going to be Lisk on the attack. They've, I have to say, they've had a really good attacking map so far. They've been able to get to their spots. Yes, they did lose that one round, which they probably sure enough, but looks like they're going to be going downstairs again. Wonders though, gets caught by a stun. Can they find that kill? The swing didn't come through. They instead opted out for the nade, which won't find anything. Just a tiny, tiny mistake, which maybe should have been capitalized on by the Saints, but it's going to still be 4v4. Everybody alive. Bendy though, will find the open opening pick, which is going to be a nice start to the round for the Saints. Four on three. Bomb still trying to figure out a way. That stun would have connected, so Gorilla has the information onto that player for Lisk. And nobody's on A, so there's no pressure downstairs. Another kill, Bendy. Man, the fact that Bendy's making the C9 work, that is such yeah. an uncharacteristic gun to use right now in BO6. Most people love the PP19 or, or the Jackal, and yep. man, this guy is just ripping with the MP5, the C9. Ooh. But Storm's here. What? He's going to make things interesting. Two versus two. St. Clair not out of it just yet. 20 seconds left. Still lots of time. And the info to Grill through the middle of the map. It's Jackal versus Amos, but Grill just chooses to stay alive. Oh, big kill, though, picked up there by Brandon. The plant is going to be going down downstairs, but Saints have a 2v1. They can let this, let this plant go down as long as they play together. Should be able to retake this one. I want to see Storms play as aggressive. See if he can catch a timing onto these players, and that's what he wants to do. But Saints playing shoulder to shoulder. They're going to double up this one, see if they can bait and switch trade each other out they just need to take one player down yeah they're going to be pushing in here storms is going to find the initial pick one on one 73 hp brandon is going to be it's going to be gorilla actually finding that kill very close but saints use their numbers perfectly they get a bit of damage from the first player gorilla finds the cleanup saints beautiful retake two on one they take the round oh uh, Godcaster makes that tough to follow <laughs> these players yeah i will say it, it, it makes it really tough to follow who's who but Wow, Storms. He almost aces that round single-handedly. Those two kills he found towards the tower, it pushes Saints upstairs. You see Gorilla, he had a chance to maybe find that kill with the Amos early on, but he chose to give it up just for the information, play his life, play the 2v1 or the 2v2 at the time, and... Um, I would have liked to see Arab maybe play that a little bit slower instead of pushing up that spiral staircase, but um, the fact that Storms makes that so close, that's absolutely typical 
for these Lisk players. Down by one again. No strangers to the situation. So back onto the defense. And hey, there we go for Aram. He gets his back. Gets the first blood there. Saints on the attack. Going to be stopped. For the time being, Brandon trying to walk up mid me. There, there's a player upstairs, but I don't think Brandon was spotted out. If he can somehow maneuver his way up into a good position, could find a kill. Looks like the bomb will be moving over towards B slowly. Twix does get taken down to low HP, and Brandon is up very into deep and it, enemy territory here. Yeah. Can he find anything here? See, this is the one thing that the average viewer might not know, but if you got your knife out at the start of the round, you can cross through mid without anybody seeing you, and that's why Brandon's just being so slow. Wonders has no idea he's gotten in behind, and he doesn't oh, have to help kill. either. He's going to be caught there. That's Nacho with the shots. It's a two versus two on the map, but Brandon again. It's Gorilla finding the player of the flank over towards the tower. It storms one versus two. One versus three, three. Jackal in hand. Oh. And without that first kill, this seems nearly impossible. He does pick up Gorilla, but they know exactly where this player is coming from. And Saints have all the time to work with. Nacho is playing relatively far up, though. A bit of a dangerous position, but he does have Brandon sitting all the way back just in case uh -oh. things do go south. Uh -oh. And he does go down, but the bomb is planted time. for Brandon. He has a lot of time to defuse here. And the push is going to come through. Brandon gets caught. Oh! Sneak out, and it's a clutch from Storms. 1v3. He's going to find the defuse. That's a big mistake from the Saints, but Lisk find the opportunity tied up for a piece. You know what, St. Clair? That one's on me. I 100% I just cast your curse that whole round. Wow! Storms, he is putting on a show on that main stage. And uh, that is incredible. The fact that he baits out Brandon by stretching the defuse. I, that must have been Nacho giving him the communication. Like, hey, he's going for the yeah. defuse. He's not challenging you. And Brandon took the bait. Oh my goodness, that is just such a clinical play from Storms in s and I guess you just can never count this kid out when he's playing on the main stage here. 4-4 four, four, Lisk with a 1 versus 3 Storms just keeping them afloat. Yeah, 4-4 four to four and it looks like a downstairs. There's going to be a challenge coming through. First Blood goes over to the Saints. That's a start they haven't had in a while now. And they will have the man advantage as they look to push up the map. Lisk, they need to find some sort of room here. But Saints look in good control of the downstairs area. Yeah. It doesn't look like Lisk will be going there anytime soon. Twix does get stunned up, so gives away his position. And this is kind of the one thing for Lisk is that they've been keeping this one close, but they haven't found that breaking point just yet. They haven't been able to break through the ceiling that is this tie game. And St. Clair know that. So this first blood, it puts them in the comfort oh. zone. Aram's found a way in towards the top of the building and sneaking through. There's the trade. Nine and six on Aram. It's going to force Ben Dean now to react into the spawn of Lisk. And hopefully this flank will pay off for the Saints. If not Lisk, they're looking to put this bomb down somewhere. Nacho going to get taken down. 3v2 for Lisk as Twix is in very deep enemy territory. But it looks like they're going to be going downstairs. Let's see if the plant's going to go down. Bendy's Bendy here. is here though, and Gorilla flipping from the other side. One kill comes through, two kills come through. The bomb is down. It's all on to Twix here in the 1v2 situation. Gonna find Brandon, but needs to get the plant down. Plant is sticking. He hops off. Needs to find the kill. Can the player stay alive? Yes, he will. He gets out of dodge. It's gonna be St. Clair taking the round, putting themselves on map point. Like 007 James Bond, he just zips his way out of there to safety. A wombo combo from Bendy and Gorilla, and they hit that site perfectly. Five rounds for Saints, the hometown heroes in the lower semis, making some plays here in the search list. They are making this one so interesting. I am amped right now for this matchup. It seems like Ant Lisk are just throwing everything at the Saints, and they're barely scratching by. But Lisk, they've been good to keep this one tied. Now looking for the round 11. They have to be careful not to lose these first bloods, and they're going to use the RC cars. So hoping to draw some information from the St. Clair Saints, but instead the Saints are just going to push yeah. through the middle of the map. They're going to take the top side. 
they have a lot of room to work with here the saints i mean lisk are doing everything to make sure that downstairs doesn't get taken which gives saints free reign on the other bomb site but the bomb is all the way still in spawn so saints haven't taken this advantage as they've been given in the oh, first the blood a big nade comes out from js twix it's gonna give a big advantage to lisk as brandon gonna look for the gunfight won't be able to find the kill gives away his positioning it is just a one-on-one -on -one for the time being aram though is coming back there's gonna be a big one-on-one -on -one here he's able to find it the trade comes through but still 3v2 for the side of list that's a big pick from aram the fact that he gets that kill and even though he dies it's still numbers here brandon oh, he they out. know he's behind enemy lines so you can see that storms is being careful and nacho's gonna be caught that's bombed down no bendy nacho i can't follow this one <laughs> putting the bomb down at a one versus three he can't get away it's a valiant try there for st Clair, but lisk man just putting them in the blender that round. And it all begins with that nade from Twix. Brandon had to get the trade in the position that he was at. As soon as he doesn't find that and Aram pushes forward to trade things out, that is just an incredible, incredible round from Liz. Still feeling that confidence, might I add. They are not deflated whatsoever. Yeah, and we're going to a round 11 Lisk have yet to take a lead in this entire map. If there's ever a time to do so, this is the time. I mean, if Saints can find another clutch last second victory like they did on map one, that would be really deflating for Lisk. But if Lisk can take this one down, they will be riding high as St. Clair are going to be the ones on attack. They just had an unsuccessful attack last round. And there's uh -oh. going to be whoa, a whoa. team, couple team kills. Something's not right. Something yeah, that's is this is an admin. <laughs> this is an admin deal. It's not our deal yeah. right now. So... Something's not right. Lisk know that. And uh, I'm not sure if it's a side thing. I don't know why it wouldn't be a side thing, but um, that's interesting. So round 11 coming out for Lisk and St. Clair. Uh, we got no idea what's going on, guys. So I, I apologize, <laughs> but I'm sure the admins. Jammer, he's going to get right on it. You see Zarin right above me. He's probably like, guys, why are we ending this one right now? But uh, we'll get to the bottom of this as we fast will. as possible, Theo. And oh my goodness, can we just talk about this Lisk team for a minute? Because they are showing up on Sunday. I mean, they are playing incredibly, coming off the reverse sweep, giving the Saints goal team a real, real run for their money. Very close to taking map one. Now, one round away from taking map two. I mean, Saints Gold came in here confident, but Lisk, they are not going down without a fight. I mean, no, not. we are both waiting on this round 11. The players, I mean, they are they, as nervous as you can get. Whoever takes this round, I mean, it's going to swing the series one way or another. Yeah, and Saints, I'm sorry. I did cast Chris that one <laughs> round, but you got to tip it to Storms. That was incredible, the, what he did. Yeah. It's, uh, it's the fact that even when they're behind, they're losing these first bloods, they're still managing to find those trades. They're still keeping those one even. Um, and for the Saints, although they're throwing those fundamental strategies out, you can see that they're actually, like, they're playing some sound search and destroy. There are still holes. There's still some mistakes in the yeah. team. And that's what's going to happen when the game literally just came out weeks ago. You can't expect these guys to be absolutely perfect in a game mode or in maps that they've just been playing for you know a handful of days but um saints have been you know doing well to at least siege out the b side they every single time you do see them catch that timing through mid brandon he's actually forcing the attention from Lisk to back away from the building, back off of that A site. And it's not necessarily saying to the Saints, like, hey, let's go put this bomb down at B. It's like, okay, let's try to take some of that pressure away and give us options in that map. And Saints mm -hmm. are doing a good job at giving themselves options, whether it's A or B. And most of the time, you don't want to go to B because you got to fight against the player that yeah. with an Amos on that turret. We know this is an AR world. You guys know this is an <laughs> AR world. But if you can manage to sneak that plant at A, just like we saw in the hard point, it's not an easy site to break. It is possible to break it, but it's not the easiest site to break if that bomb goes down. Yeah, and from what we are hearing, a player's game did crash. The most unfortunate timing. Bo both teams are locked in, ready to go, but... From the look of things, yeah. it was it was Saints on the attack. And, you know, there's one round. Both teams are definitely talking about strategy right now. What do you think would be Saints' best go to close out this map? Is there a trick up their sleeve, or do you think they're going to go for something pretty basic? Look, if there's anything I know about St. Clair ever since watching this team, whether it's CCL, whether it's a local, whether it's everything, and Zared has a plan. This guy's been cooking something up every single time I see yeah. the Saints take the stage. But um, I, I think that their plan mostly is just to not stray away from what they've been doing. It's a close game. It's very back and forth. So they're not doing anything necessarily wrong. 
It's just making sure that you find those first bloods. You're just not handing away the trade for free. And I think that's important for St. Clair. I mean, I'm not too sure what's... I don't know what's going on back there. <laughs> what is going on? It's a I mean... party on the bomb site. Hey, hey, the plant is down. Nacho gets a couple with the knife. <laughs> guys, I heard this is what it looked like in Brother Jammer's room last night, guys. It was just a party. I think, uh, maybe I think... not totally like that. I, you know, That's, <laughs> that's it's, not a good party. Yeah, I was going to say, it's, it's not totally like that because knives weren't involved. But people were dancing. People were that's dancing. all I know. People were dancing. And uh, Saints Gold. I think Lisk. it's because they're on defense. Oh, they didn't have the sides right. That, that does make sense. They didn't have the sides right. But uh, it's uh, Saints Gold versus Lisk going into this round 11. Okay, so what I oh. understand <laughs> is it wasn't a side issue. It's the fact that Nacho had an RC car, and they want to make sure that Nacho has that RC car. Uh, going, or Brandon had an oh. RC car. Somebody had an RC car. So they're trying to get the streak for the one player on the Saints. Make it as even as possible. I mean, that's important. Though. Um but the thing is, for you and I, we don't really know when they're actually going to start it. Like, yeah. when they're not diving off the map <laughs> and when they're actually starting. I, I think this is the round where this is the round 11. Well, let's go. Let's see if the Observer will get us over. The there we go. There He's we got go. the RCXT. So, now we get to start this thing out for real. Round 11 yeah. between St. Clair and Lisk. No more crashes. Let's see what Saints bring to the fray. With the RC, uh, they're going to use it early. Let's see Brandon's Wait, driving RC skills. Open doors? They do open doors they now. They jump? They jump. They've always jumped, I'm pretty sure. But <laughs> no. Th no, they haven't. My mistake. But Brandon is going to get shot out early. That RC car gets a good amount of value, gives you some uh, space. But look at the huge flanks coming out from Lisk. Two players going to be on the Giga flank here. It's going to be Aram and Storms. I don't know if Saints have any idea that this is coming, but if they can push in quickly into that side, get the plant down, it's going to be complete chaos on the site it is in the back this is twix this is where he's been kind of raining some terror nacho's going to stick the plants with nade Ooh. for wonders does it hit its mark it does not so plants gonna go down 4v4 oh, wonder slides out it's first blood over towards the saints that's brandon again five in a row now off of that kill streak twix Above him, he needs a kill to bring things back, and he finds Bendy just laying down prone. Now for the collapse, Lisk have surrounded the Saints, and they are cutting them down on the map choice of protocol. It's where Lisk wanted to go, and it's where Lisk ties our series. And we're going to be tied up by one apiece. A beautiful retake there from Lisk. They hit from all angles, and Saints, a couple of their players were just laying down prone. Lisk just wide peeked them, found the easy kills, and they clean up the round. They take the map, they tied up. A one apiece as we are now playing control search and destroy and the hard point to close out the series i mean it is so easy to get that bomb down at b sometimes but it's not always the right call to do so yeah. You get that bomb planted, and you still have Twix in the back of the map sitting on that turret. He's got an AR, and it's not easy to get him away from that. That's why St. Clair just laid down prone. Yeah. Uh, as soon as they get that first blood, obviously you see the little changes that St. Clair made, making to their hold, hold. They lay down in different corners, but <laughs> still, you're laying down. You're a sitting duck at that yeah. point, and it allows Lisk to just play more dynamic, get around you, and set up for those pinches, and... Although for St. Clair, I'm not totally disappointed in that play over towards B. It's a safe plant. It's a safe choice to play the four on four. Yeah. And if you take that player off of the turret, it makes your job so much easier. But because Absolutely. they don't take Twix down, it allows for that flank to just leave them so, so vulnerable. Yeah, I must agree with you. If they were able to get that player off, it would have been a completely different story. But... We have to look at the facts. Yeah, we do. We're tied up at one map apiece. Now it's anybody's series. Momentum definitely not in the Saints' favor after that one. And we're going to be going to control next. What are you expecting from the control map? I'm expecting it to be close. Guys, we've got uh, round 11. We've got a 250 to 241 comeback. This is a vault control that I am seeing vault control for the first time, at least as a caster. As a viewer, I've seen it a couple times. But as a caster, I'm excited to finally put some knowledge into this map and, and kind of understand it a little bit more. But for the players, it is going to be a toss-up on who's going to win this one. We're going to take a little bit of a break here and get things set up for the map number three. Let's take a little bit of a break after these two yeah. close matches, Theo. And we'll see you guys soon with some more TXP.
Welcome back, everybody. Just to recap, we got ourselves a tie after Lisk take a round 11 in the search and destroy, and St. Clair take a nail biter in the hard points. We're going to vault control now for our map number three, the map choice of Lisk. And now Saints on the offensive side, they're going to look to see if they can start off strong. Yeah, but it's going to be all red in the kill feed. Lisk getting off to a great start. I, I was casting this map last series, and it's definitely very heavy defense sided, but also a map where team lives come really into play if it's fast paced by both teams. But it doesn't look like they're going to be playing too, too quickly. Saints trying to play it slowly and controlled. It's going to be a couple kills going over to Brandon and Bendy, but nice shots here for JS Twist. Going to find a couple cooks up and nade. Oh. Gets taken down as Saints maybe try to look to break into the middle. Going to be a lot of kills oh. here coming out from Nacho on a four spree now. Going to give Saints a good amount of control on this A site, but they're going for a two on two split. Two players to A, two players to B, as there's only going to be one player defending that A site for Lisk. Yeah, Nacho's bringing the energy right now. Unfortunately, he's going to drop before turning that streak into anything more. Bendy pushes forward. He's the only one alive. Stuck behind a car. Wonders oh. runs out of bullets. So Bendy's still alive. He can stretch this life back up. The time is still stopped at 33 seconds, and he's looking to work this progression even more. Oh, I mean, Bendy's trying to do god oh. work. Finds the pick. If he's able to get it inside and stay alive, would have been a great power position. There's a backup here from Nacho, but it's Lisk playing the defense perfectly. And just like that, there's only 20 sec 27 seconds left. Saints need to make a push, need to make it quick. JS Twix is playing amazingly so far on this defense. Does get taken down as Saints need to pick a site to go for. They're going to start the A site here with a Brandon sitting inside of this one, but he's going to get taken down. A couple kills from Bendy do come through. Nacho on 17 HP, looking to stay alive as they need to stop the clock and try get the capture as soon as possible. It looks like Saints finally get a couple extra members at A. They get another tick going here. Very close to Kus capturing that one. Very, very close. One more tick as Lisk going to go for the final push here. Looks like it's still being worked on by the Saints. So Lisk break back in towards oh. A. They find the wipe in 11 seconds left. St. Clair... Although, I mean, it was a good try on this offense, but it, it doesn't seem like it's going to be enough for an offensive round win. Lisk, they hold strong in round number one. They take the defensive start, and I, you know, I'm going to even say it right now, Theo, I got no idea how many ticks they have, <laughs> I'll be honest. I mean, yeah, unfortunately, we can't see that, but I know they had at least two or three. So I was going to say at least like two or three. It was very close, but Lisk, when it matters most, they came up clutch. They found the kills that mattered and they take the first round you're right a good start to this control map but uh, it is a defense side of map so it's gonna be a lot of work still here to do for list because you're also kind of worried about i mean you saw back in the hard point it's you know lisk when they get into those panic situations like breaking that fourth hill at the last second they don't really play as composed, composed it together and you know they were hitting it one by one very often the search and destroy was a lot better they were playing with coordination communicating well and we saw it there reflect as well the communication to back off of a make sure they hit it together and break back in as a oh. full unit that unit just seems to be the recipe to success against St. Clair and they're starting off their offense now with a little bit of presence onto A as well but St. Clair they do find the necessary kills and they should be able to battle back into this one yeah let's getting a little bit over aggressive there. I feel like if they just kind of sat down and reinforced that A site, they could have gotten enough to a great start in this round. Bendy gonna find one, does get traded out. Brandon picks one more up for himself. So Saints doing a decent job of holding on, but Lisk making some advancement still. It's gonna be a standoff now. There's a power position here from Aram. That's a nice stun. We'll keep him alive and oh. get him that second kill. Twix finds the third. Nacho's gonna be the only one alive for the Saints here. We'll find a couple kills. Brandon finds the third of Saints. Yet again, able to shut down the push of Lisk. Yeah, off the respawn. That's a good kill from Nacho. Aram, he's gonna get aggressive. Has Lisk. to stay alive. He's on three. Row slides back with the pistol. Tried to catch Bandy in a little bit of a move, but it is not gonna work at all. 30 seconds left. No real progression coming out from St. Clair. And the lives here still favoring St. Clair by a little bit, but that's not the issue right now. Yeah. It's the time for Lisk. Somebody's got to get to this point. They're finding the kills, but nobody's stopping the objective time. Yeah. Finally, they get on. 
Yeah, 11 seconds left. One more wipe from the Saints would secure them this round, but there are three members of Lisk on this A site. Let's see if the Saints really decide to push full throttle to the metal here and take this one away from them. I mean, they're not moving too quickly. They have a lot of time to work with. There's going to be a couple of picks coming through for them, and now the time is taking three kills for the Saints. One more member that's going to have a chance of touching this one. It's going to be Wonders. Three seconds of taking. We'll be forced to just jump into this one, but the crossfire from the Saints is beautiful. They tie up this map at one apiece. Yeah, one one. The defensive hold strong. Yeah, it's the Saints when when that one rounds, and they are going to, I think, actually stop them from getting even less ticks than Saint Clair got. I, we don't know. I, you know, I'm just kind of ballpark guess right now, guys. It's like I say a safe guess is saying it's three to one in progression right now. I think Lisk off the opening break that they got, they had a good chance to get some segments there, and maybe they got the first one, but. I didn't see too many stacks coming out, so it's really hard to tell and, and guess in a game mode like this. A quick little thing to note, Nacho and Brandon both on quite big killing streaks. I mean, if they can get all these kill streaks up on the attack, that's exactly when you want, when you want to be using those one. Bendy is going to be the one to find that first blood. And Saints finding all the kills left and right. This is a lot better from the Saints here as they look to find this final kill. Wonders though, what nice one on one, able to take down Bendy. That's going to be a big, big kill. Gorilla going to try and find that trade, but the shots from Wonders is just a little bit too good. Lisk are winning all their individual 1v1s when they're needed most. 56 seconds, lots of time still on this offense for the Saints. And that streak maybe for St. Clair could come into play sooner than later, but they're going to push over towards B on the outside. The Amos is going to take down Bendy. That's Aram with some lovely shots. And that time bank is starting to get a little bit worrisome for St. Clair. Nacho's going to go down and now pushing on into the point. Storms is going to clear out another one. So with everybody from St. Clair getting sent oh. back to the respawns, somebody has to make the call to slow things down right now for St. Clair because there's only limited time left. Yeah, they're going in one by one and just dying one by one. That is not how you want to be playing. Staggering in this type of game mode is absolutely detrimental to your success. This is going to be all late. Lisk in the kill feed. L Nacho does get an opening frag, but the positioning from Twix is so good. Picks up Nacho, but the trades do come out. Five seconds and taken. Looks like Bendy might think to go for that B side, but has to run to the A. 1.3 seconds left. Saints cannot get off, but the kills come through from Lisk. They take the defensive round again as neither team can find any success on their attacks. I think you and I can safely say they got zero ticks in that yeah, round. Yeah, absolutely. There is no way St. Clair got a segment in that round. So in that case, Lisk... This is either their chance to take a win on the offense and just end this control and give them that swing map of uh, a victory or send things to a defense without, you know, getting three ticks. If you capture a point, you should guarantee yourself yeah. that defense in that last round. So right now for Licks, what I want to see is I want to see that teamwork really flourish in this round. I want to see them hit things together and make sure that they're crossing each other on those angles. So Aram opens things up with the first blood. Nacho's going to play aggressive here. And uh, Liz getting the opening two kills, making some real pressure here for Nacho to actually pop off. And they have a member on this B side. I mean, a tick there would be massive, just kind of out of nowhere. As you're going to see Saints trying to defend that one, but that's not going to happen. And on this A side, Brandon will win that the one. Nade. The trade comes out with the nade, a bit of martyrdom, but still on that B side. Wonders has been here for a while now. They're struggling to get rid of him. Finally does go down, but I'm not sure if he got a capture there. If he got a tick there, that could be huge to swing into the next round. Definitely just something we have to think about for if there is a round number five but there is some progress over towards a we did get the notification for that on the screen so we know that Lisk are starting to make some moves on the map and there's still a minute left lives are nowhere close to sway yeah. i like this call from bendy he's gonna really overextend into the spawn of Lisk, and he's just trying to delay this inevitable hit and try to keep these members into those heroic moments for the side of Lisk. and i think for saint Clair, they're doing a good job at really splitting up this team Absolutely. Now Lisk trying to push into this A-side. Storms all by himself. Has no red teammates near him. But if he can get another control take here just by laying down here. Nobody from the Saints has cleared it out yet. Now finally they will get rid of it. Didn't get the control progress there. Lisk struggling to find anything. But Saints are playing this defense really well. You can see they kind of are all set up in a line. Holding down these sight lines. Making sure nobody from Lisk can get anywhere near Brandon. In a 1v3 scenario. Just has to stay alive and does. This is going to give his team a lot 
lot of time to work with. Yeah, Saints are locking in right now. You can tell that they don't want to give anything up to Lisk. Oh, flank, 17 seconds. Storm's looking to make one last raw. He's going to start this flank off with a kill. Bendy and Nacho, though, are just creating oh, so many issues. Kill. The shutdown from Storms is just going to continue. An opportunity for the players of the respawn to take a shot at this A zone. But with the pistol, Bendy shutting him down. Three seconds left. The touch, it's not, not going to come through. And I think St. Clair did enough to guarantee them a defense. I don't know. I'm not 100% certain. I think it's really, really close. But we will find out We're gonna have to see. just a few few seconds. I mean, you see how the, how dominant the defensive side is on this map. It's so hard to break through. Now is the moment of truth. Which team is going to be on the attack? Which team is going to be on the defense? Let's see it tell us. right okay. here. It's going to be St. Clair, Clair on the defense. On the defense, so they're going to have the upper hand into this into this map, round, yeah. round five. Round five, and Lisk, man, I am punching air right <laughs> yeah. now because you played your heart out in that last round, and you know Storms has been making plays all day long, but without this offense, it definitely seems, or without this defense, it seems like it's going to be nothing but Heroics from Lisk if they want to pull away with their map choice of Vault Control. Storm swinging oh, around. He's going to find a double kill. And Storm's now looking to electrify this team onto the offense. The stack's in. And this could be their moment. Yeah, this could be the ape capture coming through. They get some progress. But Saints get a trade back. Wonders goes down. Now Saints going to look for the retake control. Doesn't come through in yet. Not sure going to find a huge flank there. Gets a couple. Lisk with a great start to the round. But Saints play the retake perfectly. That's going to be a big hit in the momentum of Lisk's attack as Brandon finds one more. Now there's a couple of players in deep into the spawn. Bendy, I believe, is on a huge, huge flank. If he can find at least a yes, kill or two here. I mean, nobody knows that he's here. Bendy's here, and Amos is in his hand. He's going to rip through these members, only finding two. But the rest of the team is right behind him, and Nacho's on three in a row. Actually gets the eyes on that fourth player, so he's going to communicate that this one, uh, it's Twix who's going to overextend over towards that B zone. He gets cleaned up, and now Lisk back off the respawn. Only 39 seconds. Yeah, it's looking very dire for Lisk. They need some heroics here. Trying to shoot the gun there, but a nice bait there. Two for two trade favors the defense immensely here. Aram going to get into the site, going to get a kill onto Nacho. It looks for another kill. I mean, they have a good amount of progress on that A. I'm not too sure how close they are to capturing that one. A Saint, need, it is going to be a secured going to be all on the B defense now. Look at Bendy again. He hit Huge the overextension rank. again and again to get into this top turret Thank position. You. Nobody's going to read it. There's a team kill coming out from onto Nacho and Gorilla's <laughs> going to go down as well. So Lisk are still threatening the spawns of St. Clair. Nothing is safe just yet. And Bendy, he is so disconnected from this one. He has to make a play to help this out. And it looks like the Lisk players are very aware of this. Yeah, the defense isn't looking too good for the Saints as Lisk are finding kills left and right, but still on this map, a lot of positioning needs to be made. Wonders is, ma is in a wonderful position here, up here, up in the tower, looking for Gorilla Cross. Gonna drop down, finds the spawn kill onto Bendy. Lisk have made so much progress. They have three members on this B site. Can the Saints hold on here? This is a big, big team fight coming through here. All the shots are gonna come through. St. Clair finds one. The trades come out from this. They find a couple. And this is where St. Clair are really starting to sweat. Bendy, he's got to make a play here, but he's going to be caught. Wonders watching across the spawn. And the stick is out. They're stacking oh, this the point. Car. The nade from Nacho. No way they're still in it. Storm's just throwing his body at this point. Nine lives playing eight. 44 seconds for Lisk to steal this map away. I mean, that nade could have single-handedly won the Saints this map, but still a lot of work to do. Eight lives to eight. When the capture points come through, the lives become such a detrimental factor. Bendy's going to fall down. Seven lives to eight, but a huge kill. They're on the flip side. Takes down ARM. Twix falls down. Only six lives remaining for Lisk and only 25 seconds. Still a couple of members to worry about. Wonders not able to track oh. that kill down. He's chasing with the pistol and he's got some help. Doubling back. Wonders doesn't check to his left and it's a back and forth no trade. No more respawns for Lisk, but you got 15 seconds right now to end this one out. Nacho's going to get rid of Storms on point. It's a double Ooh. kill from the Saints. And this is where St. Clair step up in the 
icy moments, the last second, they rise up in the control and they take their lead back in the series. What a map that was. Lisk really pushed Saints to the brink there. Very close to catching that B site for the first time in the map. But St. Clair, when they needed to come up clutch the most, they found the kills. They take the map. They put themselves on the match point as they look to make it into top three. And now Lisk, I mean, we've seen this time and time again. Games get so, so close. They're st right there trying to win it, but St. Clair in the clutch just are going to close I it out. I mean, that is three games we've had now that literally go to the wire. We literally. counted out Lisk so often in this game. I got to stop doing that because <laughs> you go into that round, I mean, it was defense for defense. It's hard not to count yeah. out a team that's going to be on the offense. Been. And that from, yeah, exactly. From the way this whole weekend has been, it's been really tough to win these offenses, uh, especially in those round fives. But man, this Lisk team, they showed up on this Sunday and they just continue to impress. Storms has been making plays. We saw wonders towards the end there. You called him out. He went into the second floor of the spawn of uh, Saints and he was just finding those players at the respawn. Yeah. Sad that he actually drop down because I think, I think that's just position. such a powerful spot to be in for a map like Faults and they had a really really big chance but the one thing I gotta give the Saints in that control and it's kind of what steals away that map in the end for them is the fact that you had Bendy and Nacho just constantly running routes whether it's through the bottom of the map in through the vault or Bendy overextending in the middle of the round to try to get into their spawn and yeah. get up into those power positions with the Amos in hand it's both of these teams are just trying to find a leg up onto each other and you can see the creativity coming out for them to try to find those moments that set them apart and there's minimal moments but there are moments and that's yeah. why St. Clair's in the lead right now. Yeah I mean it's literally the tiniest of tiniest things that most people won't even notice the amount of times we saw Bendy on the flank even though he only got one kill at a time I mean it's just so so valuable yeah. but now both teams gonna have to focus up we're going into hard point and considering how close the first hard point was was I mean I'm I'm not picking Ooh, any I'm sides excited. here. It could go either <laughs> way. It could come down to the last hard point again. I mean, wh what do you think we're gonna see in this map from both sides? A whole lot of kills. <laughs> a whole lot of kills. A whole lot of spawn flips, and maybe a couple teammates. I'm, I'm gonna teammates. put that in there because okay. you never know with these I'm games. Uh, and uh, it's uh it's going to be um, a vault hard point. So <laughs> we're not changing up the setting just yet. We got the protocol, protocol, and now we get the vault, vault. It does go to a map five. We get the rewind. But if we want to get to that map five, it's really gonna come down to if uh, Lis can kind of set themselves up for a lot of those better holes. I think back on the protocol, the one thing that I really liked from them is that they were rotating early. They were setting themselves up for success. They just were losing those initial gunfights they have to be more aware and talk better about what's going on in front of them just try to be aware of where St. Clair is starting these retakes from really set up in those aggressive positions and try to not to bite off more than you can show in those yeah. moments really ice in on those hills and try to soak up some more time because they were leading for majority of that hard point in fact they only needed it was points. what 241 to 200 heading into that last hill not even they just choked honestly I got no worries <laughs> in the world that this might go a map five and it does yeah. go to map five that's going to be an interesting one yeah, and we are underway. Map for St. Clair College Gold trying to make it to top three. Lisk trying to stay alive in this series, and we're getting started off on hard point. It's going to be Wonders with the first couple of the round. Lisk starting off hot again. They're going to have initial control of the hard point. The flank from Bendy gets one, but it gets traded out instantly, and Lisk showing more life in this series. They start off hot. They have full control of the initial hard point as they're finding kills left and right. Yeah, 13 seconds that Lisk kicked things off with, but... St. Clair just finding the necessary kills. You can see that they're trying to flip the map there. Bendy's going to be hitting a route deep into the spawn of Lisk, and nobody's going to be aware of this right away. Some of the members now jumping up from the vault oh. side. Twix puts a double kill on the boards, and that's some open time, but Twix has let somebody in behind. He's going to now look for Bendy on this side of the map, and it looks like Lisk have done enough to slay out. They keep their lead. It looks like it's going to be just barely tie a tie oh, game, no. but they have the setup to new. Yeah, they have a great, great setup on this next hole. When you take a look at the mini-map, all red towards the bottom side of the map. As Saints look to find the retake, but that's a nice position there from Twix. Should be able to find a lot of value with that position. But Saints, with the beautiful shots from Brandon, finds a couple. They make their, their way into the site, and they look to flip the spawns, but that's not going to be the oh, case. Twix. So much going on. Twix finding the triple kill there, and they're going to get back into the site off the back of that play. Not done yet. St. Clair spawn mid, so yeah. they're going to be able to hit this right away. 
away. Nacho's gonna put together a quick two. The nade's gonna trade him out, and Twix is still on a spree. Seven kills in a row. The anchor of Lisk really stepping up here at the start of Vault, and that's what's keeping him in this lead. And they're gonna get a substantial lead here. These ten last ten seconds will go over to them as well. St. Clair fully conceding this point. I mean, Lisk have started out guns blazing. They're filled with confidence, and now you're gonna see them trying to rotate over to the next point. Saints do have a decent setup, but this is a kind of point where no matter where you are, you can always fight for it. It's going to be Saints first to it. You're going to see a big flank coming out from Storms on the back side. I think if Lisk just give him some time to find that yeah. flank, they could definitely take this one back. Uh, you know Storms is going to deliver. This guy has been delivering all day long. He's taking his time, and you lose out on this first one, but Twix is going to trade. Storms is up top. He gives himself away. The shots are through from Arams, and he jumps on oh! down. No surprise, surprise. What's going on, Bendy? We'll see you later. And off the race spawn for the Saints. Now they're going to have to re-break into this hill. Down 40 points. Yeah, Wonders looking for this kill. Won't be able to find it. It's going to be Saints trying to maintain Lisk's pressure for the start of the map. We saw in the clutch, St. Clair definitely have a bit of an advantage. Twix just going to walk up here, picks up a free kill. I don't know how Lisk are getting into these beautiful flank positions, but St. Clair are just letting it happen. And it's going to be St. Clair trying to calm down, going, trying to rotate for the next point, but it's all Lisk on the minimap. Yeah, this is uh, a really tough spot for Saints to be in because a lot of people talk about this hill in particular since it's inside so of hard. such a soloed out building it's hard to just crash through that door and find kills there's so many angles that list can set up on right now and you can see that the saints are having trouble just approaching it in general they continue to fall a big fight there from nacho he's not going to win it out and it's just kill by kill list keep growing their lead this is just a very very strong start to vault for them and still a lot of time to keep pushing this lead yeah absolutely and you can see how hard it is to break through they're looking to do so but the trades from Lisk are coming through they have the good spawns they're staying on this hard point St. Clair just cannot find anything Aram now on a five killing spree gets on a six killing spree working towards those kill streaks as St. Clair finally break through into the point but I think Lisk are more than happy to give this one up at this time we're going to be going back yeah. to the first hard point and Lisk from the first rotations have a huge lead. It's a 40 to 8 trade in points there for Lisk. I'd give that <laughs> up any day. They got the flip on the spawns back over towards P1. Again, Lisk are be the first ones to touch down and now a chance to cross triple digits in that scoreboard. It's a flank from Bendy and a couple kills from St. Clair are going to dethrone Lisk from that position, but it's not a job done just yet. A couple shots from Bendy. Oh, He's going to throw the nade. I don't <laughs> think it's sticked out. It does stick, but it's not going to transition into any real points for St. Clair. Lisk immediately crash back into that zone, and they still are keeping their lead up by 60. And you can see Twix isn't on the side. He's under. He wants to see a free kill come through first before getting in there, but he's not going to be able Twix. to find it. Some shaky shots there from Twix is going to give Saints a bit of time on the hard point here, but Wonders will clean things up, gets back on that one as... Let's continue to push their advantage. I know I'm like nitpicking here a little <laughs> bit, but I think Twix was cooking a little bit too much there. I mean, uh, the guy just gave up a, a, some time that I'm sure Lisk would have loved to continue to push their issue for. But I mean, here's a player that we've been talking about a lot. Storm's now looking to crash this castle, and it's not going to pay off with the Amos in the hands of Bendy. He's going to rip those players off the front line. Nacho wins this fight inside. Brandon literally soaking up the up. hard point. And uh, this is some time that St. Clair desperately needs to hold on to. I mean, Saints need to heat up. Brandon hopping in the hot tub, trying to get something going for themselves. As they get a good amount of time here, the retake going to come through here from List. They're going to try at least. Finds one, but Saints doing a great job on this defense. And you can see these are the type of scenarios when List kind of fall apart. They've been playing so, so well, but one good hard point from the Saints. And it looks like they're getting themselves back into this game. Trades coming through all the way along. Twix on 17 HP. Going to get taken down as well. Saints you have so much time. I'm on this hard point. They're going to bring this game back and make it within reach. So this is St. Clair that we've been expecting. We've kind of been waiting for in this hard point. Tie game into the third hill. 
of this hard point. And the second set has been all St. Clair since the beginning off of that second rotation. And now for Lisk, they have the early rotation. This is where they can start maybe team putting kill. something on. A team kill from Nacho. ARM's going to reach out this one, swaps the pistol, but against the AR of Brandon, it's not an easy gunfight to take. St. Clair, they put together a couple of kills. They have broken this hill, and now this lead Ooh, that you have from Lisk suddenly is very, very vulnerable for the Saints. Yeah, Saints have definitely stepped it up here as they are only 25 points behind their opponents. Gorilla going to throw out and Nate. They're not going to be able to find too, too much. Still, Lisk are on the point. In the meantime, they're taking these points up, and St. Clair cannot break through. Nacho going to walk in here, going to find a couple. The pistol's going to come out, but Storms with nice shots there. Bendy now going to look to slow down this time. Going to find that kill lie down, but this is the most important uh, hard point coming up next. It's yeah. going to be key to see if Saints can break through because last time Lisk held this down flawlessly. Yeah, they did. A lot of time inside P4. And Lisk know that. Unfortunately, they're going to be spawning very far yeah. away. Twix is the only one here. And Twix has some heavy lifting to do. They know he's there. If he's going to maybe damage this setup for the Saints. He's got no teammates. And now the information is surely there. Nades are going to come through. Twix just trying to stay alive. Slides oh out with the pistol. And no way. No way, what? Twix. Everybody comes through. Backs him up. And Twix just stays alive long enough for Lisk. That's a huge misplay from the Saints. They know that Twix is up there alone. They should send at least a couple members to eliminate that threat. But they allow the rest of list to come follow up and now they have this hard point completely locked down St. Clair last time we're not able to break through but that's a kill big kill by Bendy will stop some of the time from coming through for just a few seconds here but Lisk will continue to add on to their advantage and now finally the Saints will break through but we saw this last time Lisk I mean, are more than happy to give up these last 10 seconds and continue to the next hard point you've been holding what a 30 40 point lead for the past three hills St. Clair is struggling to kind of break that ceiling right now that Lisk are putting down on this hard point. It's five in a row from Bendy, so looking to maybe get some streaks online to help them now into this third set of rotations. This isn't Lisk's game, surely said and done, yeah. but it isn't been. It hasn't been good for St. Clair across the couple of hard points that we've seen. They're starting to bring things back, only down by 30 now, but they're struggling to get these setups in. Lisk are breaking them way too easily. And I caught a team kill with a grenade. That was a good call from you before the game as the trades come out left and right Twix trying to get onto the site nice shots there as Saints are just flying into this point without much thought Nacho gonna get onto that one picks up one is able to stay in Storm's gonna find one Wonders finds the trade. It's good job from Lisk. This middle hard point isn't really one that you want to get too many points on just kind of control the area and rotate for the next and it looks like Lisk have the upper advantage to start off. Oh, Bendy, nice slide out, almost wins it against Storms. Big flank. The big shot down there from Lisk, and Gorilla's actually going to get blown up by a oh. car! That is but really frustrating for St. Clair. Fortunately, it doesn't totally throw them out the window for this one. Like you said, the spawns come through, but they haven't really been able to make this one clean. Gorilla, through the back of this one, should be able to get into the time, but he's being pushed from the middle of the map. Everybody is here from Lisk. Yeah, and you can see it's all Saints here in the back lane. Huge shots coming out from Nacho. Finds a huge double kill. It's going to be only Storms in this side. Only finds one, which is going to give Saints a lot of time on this hard point. They're looking to bring things back. The trophy system inside that hot tub is very, very good. Keeping the one, one member alive down there. And Lisk trying to retake this where last time the St. Clair Saints were able to bring back this game. They're looking to do the same thing again. Gorilla going to find the trade inside the site. And only one last chance here from Storm. Everybody's holding the door. Nacho has turned up in these last couple of hills. A tie game on vault when St. Clair were down bad in the first set of rotations. They've climbed their way back. And now we got ourselves a game number four. Everything is up in the air from what we're going to be seeing from here on out. Yeah, it's a completely fresh game. Twix going to be the only one here. And had a good position, but gets taken down. Wonder's going to give away his position as well. Can they find this kill that's a beautiful grenade Brandon finds a trade onto Aram nobody has gotten to this hard point just yet but it's all yellow in the kill feed all four members from Lisk fall down still Saints haven't gotten too much time on this hard point but a nice flank position from Gorilla he's really deep in enemy territory
Territory of St. Clair finally gonna take the lead for the first time on this map. They're definitely gonna be feeling good about themselves after the quick turnaround. Yeah, it seems like everything's kind of calmed down on the map. It's, <laughs> it's not as crazy as what it was at first, but a tight game, 158, 185, 185, still back and forth trades, and St. Clair sneaking away with a couple points even after losing 3 Dell. but that's because Lisk are overextending to what is that hill for, that ever so important hill that everybody just continues to get majority points on, and now for the Saints, this is where they're going to get tested. Can they finally crack the code and break the castle? Yeah, this is make or break for St. Clair. If they can break through here early and stop a lot of time from coming through here, they will win this map. But if it's the opposite outcome, Lisk will be looking good. And Lisk find a couple opening picks. Brandon slides through, but it's going to be all red in the kill feed. St. Clair cannot seem to find the break initially. And Lisk, look at the kill feed. They're completely mauling down the Saints. Eight kills in a row now for Lisk as St. Claire are going to be dropping like flies. They're going to give one this push one final attempt as to. the map will not be closing out here no matter what, but they will break through in these final seconds. Aram finds one. The trades come through left and right. One more member on the site. Twix will look to go in here. Well, what they're doing right now is they're pinning Lisk in the back while they're focusing on the rotation towards yeah. new, just continuing to be an issue. Not allowing Lisk to get any of this time. St. Clair are just continuing to give them a shot in the this game, the one issue we have is Aram. He's hot on the flank. Yeah, it's a huge flank from Aram. He's gonna find the opening pick. If he finds a second here with the massive, does get taken down. This middle harpoon, we have not seen many points taken here. And there's only 24 seconds left on the clock, might I add. So if both teams are just not near this site, Lisk are at a huge, huge advantage. Finally, Saints gonna take control. And this is where Lisk looking to push oh. him at five. St. Clair cannot step off the hill. Wender is, is here, but he's only able to get the one. 18.8 oh seconds, 12 points separating these two teams. It could be down to the game clock as St. Clair are slowly flipping the lead and it looks like for the first time on vault, oh, St. Clair just keeping themselves in this chance. They have the lead. It's tied up. They don't have the lead yet. Are they going to get one more point here? They look, should look to do so. Nobody's it's going to be actually Lisk taking the lead with four seconds to go. Can Saints take the lead back? Yes, they do, but the rotation is great from Lisk. They're going to be up there, and with they're five here. seconds and ticking, they are on the hard point. Now they could look to just hop off and find the kills, but they're going to choose to stay on this hard point. They're going to jump off. Saints, they do uh, jump off, but the Saints are able to get back on. One kill comes through. The wall bangs are coming through. 228, 229, 230. We're tied up at 231 after that kill. One more kill. Saints take the lead with seconds ticking down. Storms with a double kill. Able to take that down. 0 0.7 seconds on the clock. With it through three. And the game and St. Clair win by one as they are able to contest the point. The clock ends and they take the series 3-1. to one. Oh, my oh my god. What just happened? The game for lower semis. For a chance at top three for the $500. That is a nail biter. St. Clair fought their hearts out for that game. I don't know how they scraped away with it. It was so back and forth. Lisk had a lead. The Saints had a lead. You go to the hot tub hill, <laughs> and everybody's just trying to get in and out, trying to win it by the time, but it's the contention in the end. You thought that Storms with a double kill was going to be able to slowly get back into that one-second lead, but uh, I don't know who it was in the Saints. Slides into contested, and that congestion just burns that clock? last point five seconds left, and the the St. Clair goal team now eliminating Lisk in what was one of the closest 3-1 games I've ever seen to push into the lower semifinals, into the top three of TXP4 and have that chance to match up against their sister team in the grand finals. Absolutely, and Lisk have to keep their heads high after that performance. I mean kind of didn't have a name for themselves after this tournament. A lot of people will be looking at this team's away. I mean, that was a great performance, but gold in the yeah. end. I mean, just that tiny bit of veteran experience, knowing that you could slide in there, the time will clock down. Maybe some of the players weren't even sure what happened at the end of that map, but I'm, no, cer you're right. I'm certain St. Clair knew what was going on. They take the win. Nail-biter of a series 3-1, to one, as you said, but... What a, what, a, what a series to, for, for my final cast of the tournament. What a series. That was just so much fun to watch. Yeah, I mean, for the side of Liz, I mean, you got some players there that we've seen around the locals for a long time. Twix, Wonders, Storm, like everybody on that team.
just has been showing up. Yeah. But I, I haven't seen a performance like that out of them pushing the St. Clair Saints all the way to the wire in every single map that we've seen. Hats off to them. And I mean, you could go home knowing that I mean, you took down some great teams day by day, shut down by this team as well. And a top four finish, that's damn good here at TXP4. So shout out to the list, guys for putting on a performance here, an entertaining performance, and giving everybody a run for their money. Back-to-back, -back, almost game fives to them as well. But for you and I, Theo, it seems like that's going to be all. Good stuff on Love the, the desk, my man. And we're going into the lower semifinals up next here for TXP. A quick little break while we get things set up on the main stage. We'll see you soon with more Call of Duty.